Listen to how Paul explained faith in Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, where he wrote some of the most comforting words ever penned. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Although the Bible teaches that Jesus paid for everyone's sins, it also teaches that not everyone will be saved. Instead, some will be punished eternally for their sins. The Bible is abundantly clear that the one thing that distinguishes the saved from the unsaved is faith in Christ and his work alone. Faith must be there if someone is going to be brought into God's family and live with him forever. However, faith isn't the cause of salvation, the forgiveness of sins, or life eternal with Heavenly Father. All of these incredible gifts result from the object of faith, Jesus Christ. The power of faith is not in the work of the believer, the subject, but rather in what is believed, the object. Through faith, granted by the working of the Holy Spirit, those who trust in Jesus Christ and his life, death, and resurrection for sinners receive the benefit of Christ's perfect work. The forgiveness of sins, status as a child of God, and eternal life with God are granted by grace alone, through the gift of faith alone, by providing trust in Christ's work alone. Saving faith leads one to abandon confidence in their own works and trust only in Jesus' perfect work for us. Therefore, not only is the sacrifice Christ made for us a gift from God, but faith is also a gift from God. So then the forgiveness of sins, the status of a child of God, and life eternal with Heavenly Father are entirely God's doing apart from any human effort. The fundamental key concept of faith raises another logical question. What about good works? How do they fit in? If they don't contribute to being forgiven and made a child of God and heir of eternity with him, what role do good works play in a believer's relationship with God? 